Hey everyone, it's Steven from Toastamac, and as you can tell, this isn't one of the usual Friday episodes of Steven Says, nor is this one of the autism vlogs that you would expect to see on Saturdays. Instead, I wanted to take some time to talk about something. Something that happened this past week. Something that shook me up a bit and gave me something to think about. So... This past Monday, on December 11th, 2017, I was in a car accident. And while thankfully no one got killed in this accident, it was still pretty ugly. So let me walk you through on what happened that day. So <clears throat> it was Monday evening and I just got finished with my shift from Home Depot and I was getting a ride home from my transportation guy. I can't really give the name. And remember, this is still during the time where I have the right leg injury where I still can't drive yet. So anyway, I was getting a ride home, just sitting back and relaxing. And then all of a sudden, like I was almost home. All of a sudden we see a red car just trying to speed out at the last second. But the problem was when she was speeding out, we were too close to the car in question where there wasn't enough distance to brake hard enough and avoid a crash. So eventually what happened was she speeded out and we were hitting the brakes and the two cars collided. So what happened was the front left side of the car I was riding in had major damage to the headlight area. You could see small parts all over the place. And there was a bit of a dent near the front left tire where if the guy had turned it, then it might have done some damage to the wheel. As for the other driver, the one with the red car, the driver's seat had got she got side railed so <clears throat> the driver's seat just went inwards and she like spun a little bit before coming to a stop and i was honestly expecting the worst like i was when i saw it coming i was like bracing holding on for dear life oh god i'm gonna get another injury then boom the crash um so after that crash which it felt instantaneous but even after the accident it was still lingering in my head a bit um thankfully i didn't receive any other additional major injuries during that but it felt pretty rough so after the initial crash i checked with my driver to make sure he was okay because with both cars the airbags did not deploy so i had to check to make sure the drivers were okay so thankfully my driver was fine there was no damage to him he was able to walk out just fine had a bit of trouble with the driver his driver's side door and whatnot for some reason it was kind of hard to open so i went to check up with the other driver now usually in an accident i think most people would expect to find an angry driver in the other vehicle like someone like are you kidding me i can't believe this did that to me and wrecked my car oh my god but when i looked into the other car i saw someone who was beside herself for lack of a better phrase someone who was really upset in tears making calls to i don't know who like she was really panicking and whatnot so after i got out of the car i went over to the other vehicle and the first question that i wanted to ask was are you all right are you hurt she said yes but then followed it up with two words two words that I don't think anyone would want to hear when it comes to car accidents or any kind of emergency whatsoever. I'm pregnant. And at that point, the situation had gotten so much worse because with 
how the accident happened. While thankfully, even though her driver's side door was dented and whatnot, it didn't hit her or get her stuck. But the impact of the crash and also how the car spun might have done some damage not only to her, but to the unborn child as well. And that made the situation like three times or five times as worse. And she was panicking, like constantly saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But like, I just wanted to make sure that she was okay. So I kind of saying, no, no, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Um, I got the other driver calling for help right now. So we should be seeing the cops in the ambulance on their way shortly. So please remain calm. It's going to be okay. And just remember cars and car parts can be replaced, but people can't. And I got to say the response time for the police, the ambulance and the fire truck that got here, the response time was absolutely incredible. Like it was probably less than five minutes before we started seeing the emergency vehicles get here and assess the situation. So big props to the Anne Arundel County Police Department, the hospital department and the fire truck department. They got here so fast and I couldn't have asked for anything better. And I'm willing to bet the other drivers were thinking the same thing. Um, so what happened afterwards was the police officers took each of our driver's license and tried to get our sides of the story to figure out what happened. And then the driver and I were taking pictures of the accident itself. Now, I can't show any of the pictures here because I don't want to be pointing to anyone in particular. So I was there for around like 20 minutes and then I got a ride home. And afterwards, I spent the next half an hour, 45 minutes just sitting in the living room doing nothing because like I was just trying to wrap the whole thing around my head and I couldn't help but think that in that situation with the car accident not only could that have been so much worse but that could have been me that could have been me being the unfortunate person in the car accident with maybe even worse injuries. Cause like me, the way I drive, I usually like going fast whenever I can afford to, like maybe going like a little beyond the speed limit and whatnot um, in order to get to the destination as soon as possible. But I think to the accident and I can't help but wonder how worse it could have gotten. Cause the main reason the that we were able to walk out okay was because the other driver was just starting up and not going as fast and we were going around the speed limit and i couldn't help but think that if we were speeding or going faster than that how much worse could the accident have happened and when i was thinking about the possibility of that could have happened to me that still remains a fact to this day like even when I'm ready to get back behind the wheel and being able to drive on my own, that could happen to me at any time, whether I'm speeding or going at the speed limit, whether I'm paying attention or not paying attention, it can happen to anyone. And more often than not, car accidents can kill people. It can do a lot more than just take away a means of transportation for a certain amount of time, or in my case, mess up a couple bones in your leg area. It's kind of scary to think about. It took me a while to do this recording to be able to like put what I'm thinking into words. Um, but thankfully, at the end of the day, we were all able to walk away from that accident and an ambulance was called for the lady in question. I, I didn't even get her name, but I'm just hoping that she's all right, both her and the soon to be born child and whatnot. It was 
an unfortunate event, but nobody got killed. So it's times like those where you really need to count your blessings. So if you guys pick up anything from this particular vlog, anything at all is just be safe out there and be careful. Like, even if you're the perfect driver, even if you follow the speed limit and all the rules and whatnot, you also need to be aware of the other drivers because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how good of a driver you are. It's all about the drivers around you and your surroundings as well because anything could happen at any time and something like an accident, that's not really something that you can prepare for in advance. It's some that comes out of nowhere. So just be aware of other drivers and just be safe. Like those speed limits that you see, those speed limits are set for a reason. It's not just to like regulate traffic or whatnot. It's to keep drivers like you safe and out of harm's way. And if the other driver in question is watching this, I don't know, maybe she is, maybe she's not. I just want you to know this. I do not blame you. I'm just hoping that you are all right, that you're safe. That's the only thing that matters right now. Because like I said earlier, cars and car parts can be replaced. But people can't. Alright, um, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and end it here. Uh, thank you guys for taking time to watch this vlog. Hopefully you guys have learned something from this. And, uh, yeah, that's it. J enjoy the rest of your week, um, have a good Christmas, and be safe out there. See ya.